YouTube, what is good? It is your boy, Bowtie Fragrance Guy. Are you a guy out there that likes to look good and smell great? Then I think I can help you. So make sure you hit subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell icon as well. So anytime I upload a new video on this channel, you get notified. So guys, you see the title of today's video, man. We're talking about the compliment. God. But this time we're talking about inexpensive or cheap fragrances. Cheap meaning that these fragrances that I'm going to talk about today, you can find them for under $60. Some as even low as about 15 bucks. Yes, it is true, guys. There is a difference oftentimes when you spend a lot of money for a fragrance versus not spending a lot of money for a fragrance and the quality of the fragrance. The ingredients used, blah, 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 blah. But at the end of the day, that does not mean that the less expensive fragrances don't get attention, don't get compliments. So that's why I wanted to kind of shed some light on some of the less expensive fragrances. So the fragrances I want to talk about today are uh, inexpensive fragrances that in my experience wearing these fragrances have gotten compliments. So I'm going to do a little bit of a series on this and I want to kick it off today with these 10 and we'll talk about a few more at a later date. So if you want to see what I have on the list today, you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. Let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now, the first fragrance up that I want to talk about today is a quick honorable mention. And the reason that I'm putting it as an honorable mention is because when this fragrance was purchased, it was cheap. But now it's been discontinued and it's harder to find it. And of course, you guys know the routine. Fragrance discontinue hard to find people raise the prices but i do want to mention it because it's so good from the brand of jock five paris this is poor own now this was a fragrance that was, that was released in 1998 and man for what you used to pay for this this thing is so good man this has spices in it primarily i pick up like a cinnamon nutmeg kind of spice in the opening of the fragrance and uh when it starts to dry down of course you're going to get a little bit of a tonka bean kind of sweetness, a little bit of an ambery feel as well. And you're also gonna get a note of raspberry. Um, I can't overstate how good this fragrance is. And it's really, really sad that this has been discontinued because what a gem this was for what I paid at the time, around 35 bucks for it when I got it. So you guys out there that uh, were fortunate enough to get your hands on a bottle of this, know what I'm talking about. You talk about class personified and again, it gets a lot of compliments. Well, it got me some compliments, I'll say that, when I wore it. Man, what a gem. Sad it's been discontinued, but if you can get yourself a bottle at a reasonable price, this is one I would recommend picking up. From the brand of Jacques Foth Paris, this is called Poro. All right, guys, the next fragrance up. Listen, this is one of the cheapest fragrances on the list. And yeah, synthetic, all, yeah, all those things that people say about a cheap fragrance, this probably will apply to this scent. But at the end of the day, people that we run into contact with don't care anything about how much you spent for a fragrance. In their opinion, do you smell good or not? And in my opinion, people thought I smelled good when I wore this. And this one is called Thallium. Now I've talked about this fragrance a few times on the channel, but this is my second bottle of this thing. But this is a compliment machine for $15. Pineapple, apple, lavender, and musk. One thing you're gonna see um, that I noticed about this list is a lot of the fragrances have similar notes and scent profiles. This is a really playful, sweet fragrance. Very mass appealing. Again, are the people that you come into contact with going to know you only spent $15? Absolutely not. The only thing that they're going to know is, God, this guy smells good. $15, guys, you can't beat this fragrance. Again, I'm on my second bottle of it. You can just spray the heck out of this thing, gym, wherever you're going. It smells good. Does it smell like it's expensive? No but it gets compliments. And again, it's really inexpensive, but it works. And this one is called Thallium Paris. All right, guys, this next fragrance is from 
uh, the brand of Al Haramain, and this is Detour Noir. Detour Noir, almond, amber, vanilla, and sandalwood are some of the main notes in this. It kind of hints around the latent DNA, but it doesn't smell exactly like latent, honestly. And that's really not a bad thing, all right? So um, if you like the latent DNA, this is something that you're probably gonna gravitate towards, but just like latent gets me a lot of positive attention. Uh, when I wear it, this does the same thing, but of course, it's doing it at a fraction of the cost. So check this one out, guys, as well. If compliments is your thing, this one may work for you as well. This is called Detour Noir. All right, guys, the next fragrance is from a brand, in my humble opinion, when you talk about inexpensive fragrances, they do a really good job, in my opinion, of producing some pretty quality fragrances. And this is from the brand of Mont Blanc, and this is Star Walker Extreme. Star Walker Extreme Apple, Pineapple, and Tonka Bean. And that's what I really love about this one, that opening, man. That apple-pineapple combination, that really works. And I've actually seen that um, with a few fragrances that I'm going to talk about today, as well as a few others that I've come across in the more, my more recent history. Apple and pineapple pair really well together uh, in the opening of a fragrance. Really creates a really nice, citrusy, juicy, fruity accord. Love those two notes together. And again, sweetness on a dry down. That's something you're going to see with a lot of these fragrances. I've told you guys before uh, that those sweet fragrances really appeal to other folks um, when you wear them. So again, inexpensive, compliment getter. Can't really beat it for the price. This is one you can find for around $25, $30 from the brand of Mont Blanc. Again, this is Star Walker Extreme. All right, guys, this next fragrance is from the brand of Abercrombie and Fitch. And this is First Instinct Blue. First Instinct Blue. This is apple, lavender, tonka bean, and sandalwood. Again, there's the note of apple. Again, that creaminess from sandalwood, the sweetness of tonka bean. Tonka bean and vanilla is in a lot of these fragrances because uh, it's the go-to fragrance notes for uh, any person that's creating a fragrance that wants to provide that sweetness on the dry down. You know, so uh, you're going to see that a lot uh, with a lot of these fragrances. But again, this one, there's First Instinct together. A lot of these fragrances from this particular line did well when you talk about attention grabbing compliment fragrances and this one is really really good as well so check it out again it's from the brand of abercrombie and fitch it's first instinct blue all right guys the next fragrance up is from the brand of rasasi and this is called darish this is darish check out that bottle almost looks like a uh, star uh what you're going to get in this fragrance right here is cardamom or is tonka bean and musk guys this is so good this is so good for what you are going to pay for it the thing about this fragrance and a lot of the fragrances that i'm going to talk about especially for you guys that have been in the fragrances for some time when you put your nose to these fragrances you're going to understand what i'm talking about they just have that mass appealing thing and when you smell it i'm pretty sure you'll be able to envision as well pretty hard for most people you come into contact with not to to like these fragrance DNAs or, or in any way be offended by this kind of scent profile. Again, a little bit of that spiciness in the opening with the cardamom, a little bit powdery, sweet. You know where I'm going with this. Check this one out, guys, from the brand of Rasasi. Again, this one is called Darish. All right, guys, the next fragrance on the list, we're going back to the brand of Mont Blanc, and this one is called Explorer. Mont Blanc Explorer. All right, this smells a little bit like Creed Aventus, of course, Bergamot, Clary Sage, and Broxen. A little bit of a leathery dry down. So it's not exactly, I, th I think I did a review uh, when this fragrance first came out. I told you it was more of an inspired because there's a difference in my opinion between a straight up clone and something that you could tell was inspired by a scent profile because the inspired by category, it doesn't smell exactly like the, uh, the uh, original fragrance. So, but again, definitely some in uh, an a vintage inspired uh, fragrance right here is a little bit different. Like I said, bergamot, no pineapple, it's got leather, no birch. Uh, but those notes kind of hint around the, you know, the um, bergamot kind of hints around, of course, that citrusy opening, although not pineapple. And of course, leather kind of gives a smokiness, although it's not quite like birch. So again, in the family, most things that smell like Aventus, just like Aventus gets a lot of positive attention. And this was really good for what you're going to pay. Check it out from the brand of Mont Blanc. This is called Explore. All right, guys, the next fragrance up 
is from the brand of Alhambra and uh, Mason Alhambra. And this one is called Kissimmee Angel. Kissimmee Angel. Now, this is another Angel Share clone. Uh, this is as good as the other one that I like. Uh, but this has uh, honey, cognac, cinnamon, and tonka bean. Not much to get into about this fragrance, what it smells like. It's a clone of Angel Share. And I can't remember the name of the other one. Uh, Fire Your Desire, I think is the name of it. Those two, these two are really neck and neck as it pertains to how close they are to Angel Share. My Angel Share bottle was almost gone, but I can use this one. I can use that one as well because they are so close. And just like Angel Share, this time of the year, compliment machine. So check this one out, guys. Again, fraction of the cost, what you're going to pay for Angel Share. Check out a bottle of Kissimmee Angel. All right, guys, the next fragrance up on the list, I've ranted and raved about this fragrance uh, so many times uh, in the past. This is another one you can get for about between 10 to 15 bucks, which is absolutely insane. But it's from the brand of Perialis, a brand that you don't hear much about, not only on this channel, but in, in, on YouTube in general. But this is 360 White. 360 White. And what you're gonna get here is lime, orange blossom, tonka bean, vanilla, and white musk and uh guys this opening with that lime is so good for the price it is so good for the price and again one that when i've worn it out in public gym different places because this is one at this price point of course you you know uh, wear it to the gym and stuff spray away don't really have to uh, worry about it it's really been great at getting people's attention i get the question all the time what is that you're wearing when i wear uh, this fragrance right here. I know a lot of people talk about the one in the red bottle that kind of smells like aqua di Gio, but guys don't sleep on the white one. I'm telling you, this is good. You got that sweetness in there, that white musk. So it's kind of clean, the lime opening. The, look, just check it out guys. For 10 bucks, 15 bucks, you can't go wrong. From the brand of Perry Ellis, this is 360 white. All right guys, this next fragrance is from the brand of Paco Rabanne and this is called Excess. Excess from the brand of Paco Rabanne. Love this fragrance. Mint, juniper berries, oak moss, and sandalwood are some of the main notes. Out of all the fragrances on this list, if you want something that has a little bit more of a gentlemanly quality, because a lot of these are really, outside of Jacques Fath, Poor Omar, really kind of those playful, kind of sweet fragrances. This one has a little bit more of a gentlemanly feel uh, to me, but I highly recommend you guys check this fragrance out. I know the other one in the darker bottle, I can't remember, maybe Pure Excess, if I'm not mistaken, gets a lot of talk, but to me, this is the better fragrance. And again, in my humble opinion, my experience has got me more positive attention. So check this one out from the brand of Paco Rabanne. This is called Excess. And I saved this one for last because this one is a no brainer. I won't continue to tell the story about this fragrance, but it's got me a lot of compliments. I have about four bottles of it from the brand of Armand Club de Nui Intense Man. And yes, it smells very, very close to Creed Aventus, the black currant, the apple, the vanilla, the birch, just there. This thing is so close to Aventus. I mean, it's close to those great batches of Aventus. Uh, not the new stuff, but the pre-2017, 18 stuff. This stuff smells very, very similar to that. So if you don't have it yet, I don't know where you've been. Maybe you just got into fragrances like six minutes ago. <laughs> but other than that, you've heard about this fragrance and you probably have it in your collection. From the brand of Armand, Club de Nuit, Intense Man. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I would love to hear from you guys down in the comments section about some really inexpensive fragrances. Sometimes you can't say cheap because people get offended, but it is what it is. They don't cost a lot of money. I would love to hear about some of the fragrances you have that are inexpensive that have gotten you a lot of compliments. Make sure you drop those down in the comment section and as always i sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos of course you don't have to watch but you do and i sincerely appreciate that now don't forget to make sure you take a few moments to like comment and subscribe make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining because i'm your guy darren i'm the bowtie fragrance guy i love to look good and of course i love to smell Amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.